If you want to know how to make sound regions for like the bank in jailbreak or the jewelry store, make sure to watch this video all of the way to the end to find out how to in an easy way. Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video on my newbie channel and in this tutorial I'll be making some sound regions so like in jailbreak if you enter the bank uh, some kind of music will play and in the jewelry store too the museum and all that stuff so we're gonna be recreating that today inside of Roblox studio so if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and do that right now it is free no money cost at all and it really supports me out and of course if you want to become a member of my channel go and do that too because uh, it's, it's still a little bit of money if you have left over make sure to support me if you want and um, We should start off So you want to make a folder in workspace and one in starter GUI Yes Then I'm gonna insert a local script in starter GUI no a, a local script So we're gonna be typing local sound region workspace is equals to game game the workspace call on wait for child and then the folder but we're gonna rename it to uh, sound regions and then sound regions just like that the can do local player found is equals to false and then we're gonna do this every single second who oh, there we're gonna do that process every single second um, to make sure we're up to date. For I, comma, V in pairs. Sound, so we're just gonna get uh, everything in the sound region workspace, colon, get children. Do. And we're gonna automatically set our player found to false. Our region is gonna be a bit confusing. And I mean really confusing. Just type with me region 3new and then v dot position minus and then there's brackets v dot size divided by two so slash two then out of the bracket comma v dot position but then you're gonna do plus and you're gonna do the same but you're gonna divide it again in the brackets v dot size two just like that. So you can do local parts this equals to game the workspace colon find parts re in region three with whitelist this one always works they can do region yeah I just want to do region region and then game the players dot local player Character colon get descendants just like that. Mm-hmm. And now we're just gonna do something non hard. You could do four underscore v uh, parts. Sorry, sorry. Uh, in in pairs parts do. Uh, if part colon find first uh, Anchester. Out of game dot player is that local player dot name. So we're just gonna find a player. Then we're gonna do found equals true break, and else found equals uh, why found it's supposed to be player found, player found equals to false and player found equals to false and I meant true over here. I'm sorry. Print and then just PLR not found in region like that. So out of this function, if if player found is equals equals to true, so if um, there there is a player in the part, the game detected, then we can just do if script the parent the sound regions. Before we continue, I want to go into here and name this folder sound regions. And you gotta do something confusing. So you wanna make a part and workspace. I wanna size it as much as you want. I'm gonna do it a little bit like that. And I'm gonna make it this one red. 
and I'm gonna name this one the red area and I'm gonna name this one over here and make it a green the green area and make sure to put these both anchored can collide false and in sound regions so you want to go to your toolbox Ooh, that, that is really big give me a second get there I'm gonna go to audio and you just want to find any music you want just just anyone uh, if you want your favorite song inside of it, go ahead and do that. It does not matter at all. Um, so I'm just going to do some random ones. Make sure to add in two sounds over here. But make sure they're the same name as your parts in workspace. So this one's going to be the green area. This one's going to be the red area. For the green area, I want this song. And for the other area, I want this song. And they're randomly chosen. I'm not going to play the songs because I may get like... Copyright strike, uh, strike, and I don't want that uh, crap. So go back to your local script. I'm gonna close this up because it is fairly annoying. Script the parent sound regions v dot name dot is playing equals equals to false. So if the song is not playing, then a script the parent dot sound regions v dot name colon play. We're just gonna play the song. And we're gonna immediately break the function. Um, and if that's not the case, we're just going to do script the parent and the sound regions v dot name clause stop. So this is a quick tutorial. We're just going to get play. Hold up. Yep. Play. For me, it works. Maybe I may get demonetized, but. And that works, and if we go for this one. Yep, that works. So, uh, now that, that works, it is uh, pretty easy to use these. If you want more areas, just get a new area. Orange area. Make a new sound. Orange area. Change the sound ID, and if I am going to test this out right now. For a quick second. And I'm gonna go into this one. You can see that it works. So if you did enjoy this tutorial, it is a quick tutorial. If you enjoyed, do not forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll make sure to keep you guys updated. And um, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe right now, please. Thank you. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Goodbye.